Before we even get into this video, I'd advise for you to grab a shovel because we're about to get into some deep shit. Hi guys, it's Colin Berry. Welcome to my channel. If you were new here and if you already know my extra ass, welcome back to my channel. You already know the drill. I'm about to do another conspiracy theory video. There are roughly two to three trillion planets in our galaxy. Now, I don't know about you, but I think it's safe to assume that there's more out there than just us. To be honest, I might feel offended that there wasn't more than just us because human beings are trash. <laughs> like, let's just be real here. Not all humans, but you know that's like few of them trashy mother effers, unintelligent, sometimes racist, sometimes sexist, sometimes homophobic, sometimes just very fucking stupid human beings that we are. Oh my god, I'm gonna go on a rant about how much I hate people. Anyway, <laughs> let's talk about some theories surrounding aliens. Before we get into it though, make sure to click that like button if you have not already and click that bell to be notified every single time that I upload a video. YouTube hates me, they really do. It takes one second, just tap the bell, girl. <laughs> Come on. The first theory that I'm gonna talk about is the very highly requested one that you guys have been sending me. I do not think that this theory is legitimate. Like, I'm sorry, I don't want to like burst anyone's bubble or anything like that. I personally think that anybody could have just like went online and did this. Like, it's something I probably would do if I was bored in my free time. <laughs> but I'm still gonna break it down because you guys have been sending it to me. And also because it's interesting, like it is an interesting theory. And that is that this viral tweet showing a voicemail that somebody received in alphabet code could somehow be connected to Malaysia Airlines Flight 370. So firstly, let me insert the clip of the voicemail. Sierra, Delta. Alpha, November, Gaul, Echo, Romeo, Sierra, Oscar, Sierra. So after that's been translated, it spells out, danger SOS, it is dire for you to evacuate, be cautious, they are not human, SOS, danger, SOS, and then gives coordinates. So the coordinates are connected to Malaysia, somewhere off the coast of it. So that is the reason why people think that this is somehow connected to the Malaysia Airlines incident. People think that this could have been a black box recording. A black box recording is like the last interactions with the plane. The last radio message that was sent from the cockpit of the Malaysian Airlines flight was actually very disturbing as well and it said good night Malaysian 370 which is fucking terrifying actually oh my god this obviously isn't like the last message that it sent like as it was about to crash but it's still creepy that that was the last radio message that was sent considering what eventually did happen to that plane now as far as the black box recording goes people think that this was a warning that something on that plane might have not been human and that is why the plane crashed because of an alien or something that wasn't human now, the thing that doesn't make sense about this theory is that somebody would receive a black box recording four years later to their phone, and then a whole bunch of other people out of nowhere were saying that they were receiving that as well. That to me just seems very suspicious. I think that somebody could have just like put this together and then had their friends join in on it and make fake accounts to kind of create a viral tweet because the person did deactivate their account eventually. So to me, that's a little, that's a little suspect, okay? But there was somebody else who had another theory that would support the idea that they would receive a black box recording to their phone. This person named Yu Zum Aki, I don't know how to pronounce her name, says this is where it gets a little more far out. It's an unknown number. Now an unknown number isn't always a block number. A computer will still read it as unknown. But then it says, this is all happening after two large solar flares were just released, causing a soon-to-be solar storm. And if you don't know, solar flares cause electromagnetic pulses in our atmosphere. So, with more electromagnetic activity in the air, this is why random people would be getting this call, because the signal would be amplified and sent farther ranges, with the solar flares happening closer to Southern Asia slash Australia. This is why it's happening now, like four years later, basically. Now, the next part I'm not gonna go too much into detail because I just think they're just like full of shit Honestly, if I'm gonna be real with you I don't think there's any legitimacy to them But people were sending these other codes that people were breaking down basically saying that on April 18th The aliens were going to come here and it was like a warning to let us know like watch out the aliens are on their way They're coming prepare yourselves and that was like an Arabic or something that that was sent now That doesn't prove anything at all because I could go on Google and make something in German and then send it to somebody and be like, the aliens are coming in German. And then somebody's like, oh my God, the aliens are coming because it was translated and there's some code. So that makes it like a conspiracy theory. No, I don't think so at all. Like, I don't even think there's anything legitimate about these DMs. We don't know who sent them. They didn't even have a profile picture, like girl. And then they deleted their accounts after. So like, obviously these people really just are trying to get attention, it seems like to me. Now, as far as the original person who tweeted those things, I think they could have as well, but I'm not gonna assume that this person could have actually got a voicemail, who knows? But even if they did, somebody could have been playing a prank on them or anything else like that. I'm not trying to ruin the theory, I just think that there's not a lot of evidence that really supports this being real. I think people just got really excited and were like, oh my God, Malaysia coordinates. 
plain. They're connected. But let me know what you guys think in the comments because I want to know. I just didn't want to get dragged because I was like, people are going to get mad. But I also went and watched a whole bunch of other people's videos about this, like who covered this topic, and none of them believed that it was real either. They all thought that it was a hoax as well. So I'm glad that I'm not alone for once. <laughs> but jumping into the next theory, we're going to be talking about Area 51. Area 51 has always fascinated the fuck out of me. I love watching videos covering it, and I think that it's actually really crazy how long this theory has been around. And it was it wasn't until 2013 that it was even confirmed that Area 51 was real. Like for a long amount of time, people like had suspicions about this, but they didn't know. But even though the CIA acknowledged the existence of Area 51, its primary purpose is still unknown. It's been linked to the development of weapons and aircraft, but nobody really knows the primary focus. It's a very top secret facility, that's for sure. But why? Why are they protecting it so much from the general public? Why don't they just come out and say exactly what it's for? Like why is it? It's such a mystery and that's what makes me assume that it's probably connected to something that is unknown and what do we know that is super unknown and super unexplainable that there's a huge likeliness of existing aliens now I found this video online of a friend of a former area 51 worker getting drunk and spilling some secrets about area 51 and what he knows about aliens now I don't know if this is legitimate now it could be fake somebody could have did it for attention just like a lot of other things people do it for but I definitely still want to include it because some of the stuff that he said is definitely something to think about. And he said the good aliens look like the, tr the traditional grays that we see on the internet with the big head, the big eyes, that they're really small and gray. He said the bad aliens are brown colored, uh, very tall, and they smell. So now let's talk a little bit about the Roswell UFO incident of 1947. So taking this directly from Wikipedia because I don't want to say anything incorrectly, in mid-1947, a United States Army Air Force balloon crashed at a ranch near Roswell, New Mexico. So, allegedly, the remains of the crash were brought to Area 51. People started coming out saying they had witnessed this and they started doing interviews and such like that, confirming essentially what was alleged already, that these remains were brought to Area 51. But also, something even more fucking sinister, they said that the government also found alien bodies that they also brought to Area 51. So you were on your way from Big Spring into Roswell to pick a prisoner up? Yeah. And you just happened to be at the place when it already had crashed. It had already crashed. I forgot to mention that the US military claimed that it was a conventional weather balloon. I'm not buying it, okay? I don't know about you, but girl, no no no. I don't think so. I think it's a UFO. So now with that being said, another conspiracy theory about Area 51 that a lot of people believe in is that there are autopsies conducted on aliens at Area 51. I really do think that this Roswell crash is connected to Area 51 in some way or another. I really do think that there is alien testing in Area 51. That's why it's so secure. That's why they won't tell us anything about it. But I also do believe that this could be a place where they're learning more about alien life that they just refuse to tell us for whatever reason. Maybe they don't want to scare us. I don't know. But I think there's a lot of information that the government knows that they don't tell us at all. Now on to the next alien conspiracy theory that literally freaks me out and is why I decided to film this video later during the day instead of at 6 a.m. I originally called my friend on the phone to talk to her while I filmed this because I was so freaked out but she had to leave to go to school so now I'm filming this during the daytime and that is about men in black the men in black terrify the fuck out of me yo what the fuck as soon as I start talking about the men in black my fucking computer froze <laughs> Oh my god, stop. Watch me fucking die after I film this video and post it. If I do, you guys know why. So if you don't know what Men in Black are, they basically show up after you have reported an incident involving aliens or UFOs, and they come and basically tell you like not to publicize it, like threaten you essentially. These men claim to be government agents, but they're basically aliens disguised as humans. Now, there are actually a lot of people who have claimed to encounter the Men in Black, and I'm getting chills right now just speaking about this. Oh my god. All right, all right, I'm done. I'm done with this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure to click that like button. Also, subscribe if you have not, and click that bell to be notified every single time that I post a new video. Please leave a comment down below letting me know if you enjoyed this. Also, what conspiracy theories do you want to see me do next? Do you believe in any of these ones? Because, girl, they are freaky. Which ones freaked you out? Just leave a comment. I want to chat with y'all. I love y'all. Thank you guys so much again for watching, and I will see you super soon 
with a new video. Hopefully one that won't potentially get me killed by the men in black. <laughs> All right, bye.